Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Maddie. I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And today I have a haul for you guys. This is from two different stores, but I went to both of these stores on the same day. It was actually earlier today, so I am just rocking and rolling. These items are straight from the thrift store, so they have not been steamed or fully inspected. So we might be discovering some things together. Um, I don't have anything listed yet with that said, but I will try and have everything listed by this weekend. Like I said in my introduction, I am a part-time reseller, so patience, please. Thank you. Um, but my average cost of goods for both of these hauls from each store combined was $3.10. And I kind of touch on how I get my average cost of goods so low in my consignment um, strategy video. So I will go ahead and link that above if you guys are interested on how I utilize dollar days and how you guys could utilize dollar days or the bins if you have things like such as that near you. So I'm not going to show you every item I got because some of those items are going straight to thread up in a partner kit and they're just not very interesting. They're mall brands like Chico's and Loft. So these are the items that I'm going to be listing in my closet. So I will try and indicate if it was a 99 cent item or if it was a half off item or if I paid up for it. But let's go ahead and stop talking and get started. So starting with shoes, this pair of shoes was cracking me up. So these were hidden underneath like some blankets kind of by the athletic wear. And I was like, well, that's interesting. There was quite a few pairs of shoes, but this was really the only one worth value. So I saw right away this little emblem and I was like, um, those are Tory Burch. So I took a closer look at them. They're not in pristine condition. There's a quite a few scuffs that I'm going to try and get like buff out a little bit but these are leather they are you know in good enough condition and when I looked on the bottom it had a P which means pink and pink was the 99 cent color now they wanted $89.68 for these and I got them for 99 cents insane so that was a really exciting find i just thought it was kind of funny they didn't say anything to me at checkout or anything um but i was like um go maddie look at you go finding someone's hidden treasure so tori birch i believe these are yeah these are a size 10 so a larger size so i'm excited to get those listed it's always a good day when you find tori birch for 99 cents um, the next pair of shoes, again, 99 cents. Uh, as you guys can see, my store really does like to mark up shoes. So honestly, I really only get them if they're 99 cents. So this is a pair of Stuart Wiseman's. They are an older style, but I thought they were kind of pretty with the little like jewel right there. And for 99 cents, I couldn't say no. These are in a size seven. I used to send kind of the older style, like these Stuart Wiseman's to the real real, but ever since the real real changed their payout structure, I'm sending nothing to them. Do you guys still use the real real? If so, let me know what your strategy there is. And then we have these Merrells. These are in a size six. I have some luck with Merrells. I do better with like the hiking style shoes, but again, 99 cents, can't say no. And the last pair of shoes we have here, are a pair of lucky brand booties these are in a size eight and a half they're in fairly good condition they do have some creasing but lucky brand boots i'm always so amazed by like how buttery soft the um leather is and they wanted 14.91 for these and i got them for 99 cents sorry i'm, I'm gonna stop being annoying about that but i'm impressed with myself all right moving on to clothing so the first item i'm going to show you is so cute if it was in my size i would absolutely keep it it is polo ralph lauren this is a size medium and i did pay up for this piece i think i paid like 14 12 something like that but it is brand new with tags and it says it was originally 248 dollars and it is just adorable southwestern it's got the little puff sleeve i am obsessed with the puff sleeve if you guys have not noticed and I love this. I don't know what I'm going to list it for, but because I love it so much, I know my heart is like listed high, even though it's not my size. So it's not like I could wear it. And it's for the best that it's not in my size because it's brand new with tags. And I don't know about you guys, but I have a hard time thrifting brand new with tag items for myself because I'm like, well, if I take the tag off and wear it, then the value goes in, you know? Another brand new with tag item that I did pay up for. This is Eileen Fisher Woman, and this is in a size 2X. 
Part of the reason why I was comfortable paying up for this is because it's a linen blend and also because it is a plus size. Eileen Fisher for me does best in a size extra large or larger. I will still pick up the other sizes if they're reasonable, reasonably priced like four or so dollars. Um, but whenever it is a plus size, I am more comfortable paying up. So just a plain striped shirt. Yet another new tag item. This one is Beyond Yoga and this is in a size large. Don't use the stock photos when it comes to Beyond Yoga. They will report you. I got reported just the other day on Mercari for using a stock photo on a pair of Beyond Yoga leggings and I knew better. I shouldn't have been using their stock photos. I know they report me. So fortunately they did not report me on eBay which is the one that like kills you if you get re reported. So I quickly changed the picture on eBay, but it is just a strappy tank. It reminds me a lot of a Lululemon tank. And I was comfortable, I think I paid like $9 for that just because it was a size large. This was a 50% off color. So I think this made this about $2. And this is Knox Rose size extra large. Large, I think, extra large, extra, extra large. So even better. Knox Rose does well for me in these kimono styles or maxi dresses in larger sizes. So this is a kimono. This is just a brand that's sold at Target, but it does have a following. You're not obviously going to get like a mountain of money for it, but you can get like a easy bread and butter flip for that. So probably about $20. This is Free People and it is a size large. I love Free People and Anthropology in size large or higher because I feel like it is so rare. This is just kind of like a bohemian little tunic dress. You can see someone wearing that with tights and some booties. This was a half off color, so I think this made it about $2. This is Tommy Bahama and it is a golf skirt and it is made out of silk. I am very picky about Tommy Bahama but uh, golf and tennis skirts always do pretty well for me. So it's cute. Tommy Bahama is quality. It's just kind of a harder seller because there is a lot of Tommy Bahama on the market. Okay, this next brand is becoming one of my favorite bread and butter brands. It's called Savannah Jane and it does really well in plus size. This is just a size medium, but it's going to get a lot more attention if it's a size large or higher, but they're known for their bohemian pieces. I've seen pieces by them that are really plain and I normally skip those because people are really looking for these unique bohemian pieces with like floral detailing. A lot of them have tassel, like you can see there's tassels on the sleeves. So that's going to get about like 20 to $25. This was another 99 cent find. This is Torrid size double zero. I believe that's a size medium. I normally avoid the size, but 99 cents, you know? So this is just a graphic tee that says happy camper. That will again, probably be like $15. 99 cent piece, this is LL Bean. And I got this because it is a 100% linen. It is a size medium. It is this very striking orange color. I could see like someone hiking in this. You definitely wouldn't get lost, you know? This next piece I did pay, I think like 12 or so dollars for. This is Ariana Papel. This is a size 12. This brand is well for me whenever it is a more formal dress and whenever it is a size 12 or higher. So this is a really pretty deep V dress. I think the skirt is just beautiful. This color is gorgeous. I make someone needs to wear this to the Harry Potter U ball. You know what I mean? But prom homecoming, someone needs this. It is just beautiful wedding guest. If it were my size, I would totally try it on. I am one of those people that like, I'm like, I have a color. I don't know. Like some people are like, I'm an autumn. I'm a fall. I don't know all that. I'm just like, Green looks really good on me because I have green eyes. So that color is like right up my alley. All right, this next piece was 50% off. I'm trying to find, there we go. All right, this is Blank NYC. I am very picky with this brand, but these kind of like suede jackets do well for me in the moto jackets. This is in a size small. It is so buttery soft. This brand is really known for like having good deals on the Nordstrom anniversary. Sale, that's what I always think of whenever I see it. The bloggers all like post in it. All right, this was again 50% off. This is Zara and this is from 
autumn winter of 17 18 so it is a little bit older this is in a size small I'm very picky with Zara I really only like to sell their shoes and like if it's something that I can tell is newer and trendier but I did like this because it is velvet velvet for whatever reason just does fantastic for me it is missing like a little belt or something but that's okay and it is also a maxi maxi and pretty much any brand is going to do well the more I look at this the more I'm like I don't I think it's a cardigan I don't think it's a dress this next brand is a definite bolo every time I've had it it's sold super quickly like within a week this is CP shades um, this is the easier tag to read. A lot of the times with their tags, they'll put the CP shades word in like a slightly lighter shade than like the tag label and it's very hard to see and I find myself squinting at it. Um, this is in a size question mark. I'm not really sure. Um, I think it always says it on the label, but this is a good like lag and look brand. Sometimes they do collaborate with free people. Let's see, I cannot find this is a size medium and it's just rayon but a lot of times they do have nicer materials this next piece is an anthropology piece this is made by anthropology this is a size medium it's a cute little spring blouse I could see someone wearing this in spring with like white jeans that would be cute all right this next piece I'm so excited to show you guys this is my second time finding this brand and I think the last time I found it was like over a year and a half ago so the brand is house of cb this is a brand that sold on revolve and it's actually one of the good revolve brands this is in a size small and i th i did pay up for this i want to say i paid 14 dollars, but oh my goodness gracious some girl with way more confidence than me is going to rock this House of CB is kind of known for these like style dresses, these kind of more like like high-end clubbing dresses, if you will. There's a lot of like bandage styles, so I have not researched that. I have no idea what I'm going to price it at, but I'm going to try and hold out for a pretty penny on that one. All right, so this next brand is my first time trying it, but I've seen other people haul it and have success with it. This is Arata Silent Journey. And they have like very bohemian pieces. Ooh, got a little stuck there. All right, so it is kind of like a mixed media. It reminds me a lot of like Johnny Was or Sundance. There's like a little tie detail on the back. The size is missing unless I just overlooked it, but it looks like to me it's probably like a medium. I will of course include measurements. This is one of my favorite bread and butter brands. The sell through rate on this for me in particular is like 100%. This is standard James purse, a size three. I think that's a large. I always have to look at the size chart, but this is just a basic. James purse is really known for making basics out of like high quality materials. This is another anthropology piece, again, in a size large. This is Airy plus Alley. And this is a really cute sweater. It's got the little tassel at the bottom. I love that it is a neutral. And then it's got like a cross back. Yet another anthropology piece. Anthropology is my number one selling brand, if you guys could not tell. And then I think that's it's followed closely behind with free people. So this is made by anthropology. This is in a size four. And again, we have some more velvet, velvet has been having a moment in my closet. I personally love velvet too, so I understand. All right, so this next piece, my thrift store definitely missed an important logo. So if you guys could not guess, it is, oh my goodness, Lululemon. It is kind of hard to see. I was happy for that. So I think this is only like two or three dollars. It's just a tank top. It doesn't have like crazy resale value. We all know Lulu, Lululemon has kind of gone downhill, but Lululemon, I've been finding like a decent amount of it not priced up because my thrift store is missing that or they're pricing it so high that it makes it to dollar day, kind of like with the Tory Burch boots. And so it's become one of my best selling brands in my closet, especially because I have adjusted my expectations when it comes to Lululemon. All right, another James standard James purse. Again, kind of a long sleeve black basic. This one's in a size four. This 
sorry I have like a pile over here and I think it's starting all right, so this next brand is a total bolo. I have not heard anyone else talk about it. They may have, and I just missed it. I actually learned this brand from my mom. So my mom retired last year and we were all just so overjoyed for her, but my mom taught aerobics for years and she is literally like the energizer bunny. She loved in particular uh, spin cycling. And so when she was retired, she was like, I don't know what to do with myself. And so she joined not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six tennis teams. I mean, she's a hot commodity, I'm saying. I mean, she is so active, like it's seriously inspirational. But she now loves tennis, it's taken over her life. And she taught me this tennis brand, it's called Lucky in Love. And this is in a size large. She's given me this brand to sell before, so I know that it's got quite a following. So this is in a size large. Anytime I've now found it at the thrift store, I get so excited. And this is the matching top. They did have these priced separately, so that kind of sucked that I had to pay for both of them. But at the same time, it's cool that now I have a whole set. They are both in a size large, so I need to stop complaining. Those were both full price, but I've never had Lucky and Love any piece sit for more than a week. So, bold statement, look for it. This is Vince size large. It's just a gray basic dress, it kind of skaters out. I am normally pretty picky with Vince. This was a half off color, um, but Vince does okay for me. Again, I think with like most things, like adjust your expectations. I know it retails for a million dollars, but you're not going to get anywhere near that. Just being honest with you, giving you some tough love. All right, so this next piece is J. Crew. Yeah, this is actually from Holiday of 2008. But I picked it up because it is 55% wool, 30% nylon, and 15% cashmere. It still seems to be in great shape. This cable knit is really like a classic. Okay, so funny story is I am absolutely obsessed with the show Dawson's Creek. Like I am totally team Pacey. Like my husband thinks it's hysterical that I really don't watch much TV except when I'm running on the treadmill. And I, my go-to show is always Dawson's Creek. I've watched it probably three times through. I am obsessed with it. And J. Crew, kind of like older, preppier J. Crew, just makes me think of Dawson's Creek because they used to model for J. Crew. And I'm like, ah, Jack, Joshua Jackson, yes, Mighty Ducks too. All right, moving on. This is Lullaboo. This is a size small. And this is a new to me brand. I found a shirt like, just like this earlier. They do make men's and women's, but basically it is kind of like a kangaroo pouch for you to hold your kid in there. And what's cool about Lalavu is it does tell you when this piece was made. So this was made in 2016 and it is a little bit older. That is okay. Some of them sell better than others. It seemed like the men's Lalavu sell a little bit better than the women's, but that's okay. The one I have listed currently has gotten a lot of attention on Mercari and then I think maybe like one or two likes on Posh. This is Ruli. That's an, this is another brand that has a 100% sell through rate for me. This is in a size small. It does not sell for a lot, but it sells so quickly. This next piece was 50% off and this is Free People. This is in a size extra small and it's just this cute basic eyelet blouse. It's kind of got like bell sleeves and it is a little bit cropped. All right, we are almost done. This is J. Crew Collection, size 12. And it's just a really cute nautical striped blazer. This is bringing me back to definitely preppier J. Crew. And this is from summer of 2012. So it is an older piece. J. Crew Collection is kind of deceiving. Some people used to say it sold really well, but I've never had like super success with it, but that's a blazer. So J. Crew blazers always do well. So I was like, it doesn't matter if it's a collection or not, it's a blazer. This was 99 cents. This is HD in Paris. This is a size medium. And this is just a black tunic. HD in Paris is definitely going to be one of the lower end anthropology brands. This next piece I was very excited about and my thrift store didn't even mark it up. I was like, I'm not gonna question this, but you guys made a mistake. This is Soft Surroundings, which doesn't sound that interesting, 
but it is brand new with tags and it is cashmere. So in the store, it was $200. And I think my thrift store had this priced at like three or $4. So I'm not complaining, but I was very surprised by that choice. And it is so soft, just a nice basic. I think that'll sell really quickly. This next piece is a great lag and look brand. It's called Cut Loose. This is a size medium. And again, we have some more velvet. This is very similar to like CP shades. It's not going to get you as high of a price though. This is standard James price again, size three. This is a ruched dress. They actually had this marked as maternity in my thrift store, but I don't think it is. It just says the three there. It doesn't say like three M for maternity. So I'll investigate on that. This is a great anthropology piece. This is Moulet Soares size 12. And I actually found this dress like two months ago. So I already have the stock photo. It sold, I want to say for like $40, but it's really beautiful. And I love that it's a larger size. There's nothing on the back, which is kind of disappointing, but the front is such a showstopper, but it's okay. I do think it's missing like a little red belt, but we'll live. All right, this is LL Bean and it is a size 10 and it is a blazer. And the reason why I picked this up is because it is made out of wool and cashmere. I didn't know LL Bean made things like this, so I was very impressed. It seems to be in good condition. All of the buttons are there. I think that that's one of those colors that I'm like, is it really dark navy or is it black? But I think it's black. This is 99 cents. This is Sundance, size large. I've been finding a lot of Sundance recently and it's very hit or miss, but you guys know, 99 cents, can't say no. So it does have an elastic waist. There's a little tie detail in the middle. Two more pieces. So this next piece was also 99 cents. This is Talbot's. It's a size one X and it is brand new with tags. It says it was 79.50 in the store. Talbot, Talbot and plus size always does well. Becky Park is the one who is always like, it's not a sexy brand, but it sells. And I do have to agree with that. And the last brand is one that I don't normally pick up, but I thought this was cute. It was new with tags and it was 99 cents. So this retailed for $55. This is Topshop and this is in a size eight. And it's just a white blouse. It's got kind of interesting mesh sleeves. Be a good take on a basic so again i'm adjusting my expectations probably maybe like 25 30 dollars so that is everything what did you think of my haul while i was going through the thrift store i was like this is not a very good day and then when i got home i was like you are so ungrateful this was a good day you need to get your act together missy so overall i'm very satisfied it's not as good as my you know haul the other day but you know what? We can't always have hauls that have road and new tag Veronica Beard out. Still good haul. Stop complaining. Stop talking about you. All right. All that said, I am going to link all of my Poshmark, uh, eBay and Mercari stores down in the description box, as well as my TikTok. I will also link my Instagram, but I'm going to be honest. I don't really get on there. So that is everything. Thank you guys so much. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you can see more videos. And of course, click the thumbs up. Thank you guys.